Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and we are playing the People's Canon in Modern. Alright, this actually looks like a pretty good hand here, because I think we we can win on, like, turn three, I think? Because we go... Oh, we don't have a second land, that's actually a problem. No, okay, so you know what, we might actually have to mulligan this, because, yeah, we don't have a red source. If So I guess if, if we had, like, another land, right... So close though, because like if we go like turn one, this, if we had like Shatter Skull, we could go turn two, Shatter Skull, Ritual, Ritual, Iron Crag, Belcher, but you know, it's not quite there. Um, this does not really do it either. We're gonna mulligan. Alright, I think I'm gonna keep this and we're gonna hope. So, two cards, so I'm probably gonna go Ritual. Do I keep Iron Crag? This might be the one that gives us the best chance of winning in the future, but I also may want to just keep Desperate Ritual so I can like try to ramp out this Blood Moon. I like that idea better. Being on the draw kind of sucks. What are we up against? Well, this Blood Moon does not look very good now. Oh, but wait, if this is, oh, if this is Amulet, this might actually be important. Because the Blood Moon will keep Valakut from killing us. Alright, well, if we can find another mana source, I can get this Blood Moon out next turn, but otherwise it's going to have to wait till turn 3. Yeah, Amulet's going to be kind of rough. They have stuff that they can do that's going to suck. So they found Simic Growth Chamber. You can bounce the forest, I assume. They don't have an amulet out though, which is kind of nice, at least. Alright, come on. Spirit Guide or any of the Mythic Lands would be the ideal draw here. Because we're running out of time. We have to, like, slow them down now or we're going to be in a world of hurt. No. All right, well, it might be too late now because I think we might be facing down Titan this turn. Karn the Great Creator. Okay, well, we're basically dead here. We're not technically dead, but, like, the fact that they have Karn in their main deck means that, like, it's going to be rough. They're assuming that we're on the Dredgevine version of this. Alright, so the plan is we have to kill Karn with like Shatter Skull. And that's Oh fuck, this is this is terrible. They can find like Ratchet Bomb or something with Karn and that'll be enough probably. If they if they wish with it again, like uh, well not anymore. But there was there was an a line where if they wish with it we could kill it with this. The Grafdigger's Cage is not the one. They need to get the Sorcerer's Spyglass. If they get the Spyglass, then they lose. Technically, we have an out here, but it's not a very good one. They don't actually have a clear way to win yet either. They're just going to keep ticking up Karn, so... I don't know. Well, they're only one land away from hard casting this nonsense. Alright, well, that's kind of fucked us. I think we're dead now. I mean, Dryad is going to like be enough to probably get there. No, they can hard... They can at least, like... I don't know, they have tons of options at this point. All 
I might just hard cast Reforge of the Soul next turn. They only have one card in hand. What the hell is it? And it's another Summoner's Pact, right? Which means I kind of have to do this this turn. So we have Shatter Skull now, that's a plus. We already played that, so. So I have to be able to do this to kill off Karn. I'm not quite there yet, but we're getting close. You can find some more rituals. Like if I find uh, Iron Crag Feet, I can actually do it, I think. So I'll have. Be four, seven, eight, so I can cast it for exactly six. So yeah, if I find Iron Crag feet, now I can actually kill this Karn. It'll deal up to twelve damage to it. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna smash it for a bunch and then smash it again for a bunch next turn, and then hopefully from there it can play Belcher and win. But <clears throat> we're getting close to like. I don't know why they're not attacking with Dryad. They should be beating me down. Surely they have to realize that the cage was not the right thing to get at this point. And if they get the spy... I don't know if they have a spy glass on their sideboard, though. They may not. Like, they might just be hoping that Karn is enough. Hmm. Well, they play some lands. I guess the the thing is if they have like Titan. Oh, so they're searching again. So if they get Spyglass, I can just concede. Engineered Explosives, okay. They can only do that for two, though. No, but they can they can do it for three. Never mind. <clears throat> okay, now they can, like, tighten me. So I have to, like, play another Blood Moon. But I think I'm dead. Like, they had access to this thing the whole time. What's got to happen here is I have to play Blood Moon this turn, right? No, they, 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 okay, they, they've got it. All right, we, we can concede from here. Uh, so what do we need against them? Probably, yeah, it's hard to say. Bolt's not particularly good. Like, uh, to be honest, none of these are really that good. Um... Karn is just a card that, like, we have very little chance of beating. So I guess we actually need Collected Company in this. We'll take out a Reforge of the Soul. I, I want to keep some Chalices, but I don't think a lot are 
We don't need like all of them. We can keep like two chalices to put on zero. And yeah, I guess this is just how it's going to have to be. So we have to just kind of race them to hopefully kill them before Karn kills us. So we are faster than them by a little bit, I think. Uh, so the Blood Moon does help, especially if you can get it out early. But it really comes down to if they like this version of the de their deck is playing Karn, and like yeah, Karn is one of our biggest problems at the moment. So uh, there's, maybe we could replace Blood Moon with something, or I mean Lightning Bolt with something else in the sideboard that could take care of the Planeswalkers better. We're not stone cold dead to it because of this, but you do have to kind of combo this with Iron Crag to have a shot. Yeah, at least now in the post-board game, we, we're not dead to Karn. We can at least go down the recross route with this. Go Collected Company into these two and just win. Um, we, I think we're going to keep this, because we can turn to a Blood Moon, and that's, we can, we can play Blood Moon and Chalice, so, it can at least stop them from getting, like, Dryad or anything. Molta 5, okay, I mean, that's probably good, right? I feel like turning off their packs is probably important. That's better because that saves us some. You know, we don't have to burn a ritual on this. Now their amulet shenanigans are turned off. So we just need a belcher, really. They have two basic forests again. Fuck. Alright, no, this is fine. Alright. We just need them not to have Karn. So I guess we do this first, because if we draw Iron Crag, we just win this turn. They have to cast exactly Karn right now or they die. Which they might do. They have they do have the four mana. God damn it. They're gonna Beast within. All right, no. All right, so that's fine. All right. Well, uh, I guess I could have played that. It might be worth hanging on to if I can get like. Now um, yeah, we'll just play it. Hmm. Play Chalice on one. So Manamorphose means we can cast the Recross, or we could just draw another Belcher. Alright, well, seems like we're going to stare at each other impotently for a while. No! 
Alright, no, we're still fine. We just need Manamorphos. <sighs> Fuck. Alright. We can do this. Actually, if we can pick up another one of these, um, or if we can find one of the uh, ping spells, we can start attacking Karn. No, I, I, I can't afford to do that right now. They know what's up now, but but things are not all lost. Because like I said, if we can find Metamorphos, we can then recross into a reforge pile that theoretically can win with the Collected Company. Uh, they can get rid of this other chalice, though. That's definitely an issue. I sided two of these out, and I still ended up with two of them. Liquid metal coating is super dangerous. Alright, well, we're going to run out of time for this now. Now they can start eating our lands every turn. No, well, it's it sucks. Like this is a kind of deck where it's just really hard. Like they they have basic lands to like to actually cast a hate spell against us and they had this too. So we we tried. We really did, but I think Amulet's probably one of the harder matches to beat with this deck. Yeah, like now they have Primeval Titan. Like it's basically over. There's like no hope of beating this thing. We have like a couple turns, but not very many. The thing is though, if they actually make the mistake of getting rid of the Blood Moon, we could maybe do something here. Okay. All right, all right, no, this is good. Because this means we can actually win next turn. That doesn't do anything right now, but that's fine. Even if they kill off this, I still have a Simeon Spirit Guide in hand to cast this thing. So I think we actually might get there if we can just survive this Titan attack. Okay, um, I guess this, go this, reforge, Simeon, Simeon, ritual, ritual, so that's four, five, Six, six, seven, and then Informer, Oracle, and the rest go in any order. All right. I just need to not die or this turn. That's it. No, they're... Okay, I see what's going to happen. They can just minus Karn and go for the engineered explosives again, can't they? So, I think we're going to die. Are they going to... If they make the mistake of trying to kill my lands, like... No, they're they're going to kill off the Blood Moon here. No, but if they kill the Blood Moon, they're going to kill the Dryad too, right? Which means that Valakut's not going to do it. Maybe all hope is not lost. Uh, 
Okay. I can still block with this beast token to soak up three damage. So Valakut's not online. That's that's a plus. Are you fucking kidding me? They have two cards left and it's still that. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> we worked so hard for this. Oh, why? All right, fuck it. You, whatever. I, I really gave it my best. We were going to, like, have a shot here, but... This is such a bad match, and I came so far from this, but they're actually going to kill us now, aren't they? Whatever, I can't do anything. If, if for some reason we live, then I can actually win next turn, but I don't feel like we're going to. We're going to go to 11, and then they can just get, like, two more Valakuts, right? We get Valakut and Vesuva, and that should be enough to kill us. Oh, they're just going to give it double strike too, so like it's, yeah, we're dead. We are definitely dead. Alright, whatever. Right? Yeah, they shot us with the Valakut and this is going to deal us 12 damage. Like, whatever, it's... I we, we gave it our best shot. We like actually almost put together a plan against this, but like this card is just like a, a beating and, you know... Blood Moon is okay, but like you have to like have a win like versus them very quickly because I don't know, it, it it it's just tough to race this. They they are pretty fast and like they had basic forests like both times too, which was like I don't know their their hand with like both games was like actually very good and like they need to have this card both times and they needed to like do get the explosives on the actual turn that they got it both times. I don't know, it's just kind of worked out for them and not for us so. Puts us at 3-1. We'll see if we can go 4-1 tomorrow. So everybody, take it easy. Give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you again then.